Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So with that, let's get you up to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, and Heinz Field. This was the scene just a few moments ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with the Miami Dolphins. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, look, some might say that football is a young man's fancy, so to speak, but don't tell that to these two quarterbacks because they come in here with a lot, and I mean a lot, of NFL experience. Hey, I like the Young Turks, I like the Baker Mayfields, I like the Patrick Mahomes, I like the Lamar Jacksons, but I do like those grizzled veterans who know how to play the game, know how to run their team, and know how to handle difficult situations. Maybe I'm just showing my age, too. Jason Sanders now to get this one started and we are underway from Heinz Field. This is fielded at the goal line. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20 yard line. So the Steelers offense getting set for their first drive. They'll be let out by Big Ben, their veteran quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger. He's one of the more exalted quarterbacks in the league, but I still don't think he gets enough appreciation for his ability to read defenses and lead his ball club. Tackles, tackles. First carry for James Conner. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Offensive starters, here they are. David DeCastro, what do you think about him, Charles? Brandon could not have been better trained at Stanford. So well-schooled in the run game and the pass game, and especially in pro principles. David DeCastro could be an all-pro in the years to come. From the 22, here's second and eight. First carry of the game for Jalen Samuels. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. And he'll find Washington. That's complete. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not cause, easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 48-yard line. On first down, it's Samuels. And on the stop defensively, Raekwon McMillan. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Second and five now, Roethlisberger. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 25-yard line. 
They're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't I, seem to want it. I didn't offer it. mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would to be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. The quick slant caught, and he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Steelers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7-0 Steelers. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a Pittsburgh touchdown. Well, now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be taken in at the one. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30 yard line. So here are the Dolphins now getting set for their initial possession. Leading them out is going to be their quarterback. That's the grizzled vet, Ryan Fitzpatrick. One thing that I think Ryan Fitzpatrick doesn't get enough credit for is his toughness. This is a guy who plays through injuries, but it's also being mentally tough, knowing that everyone's always trying to move him out of the lineup, trying to find a replacement for him, yet he continues to battle and has earned the total respect of his teammates. On first down, a running play ends up going backwards as he won't get close to the line of scrimmage. In fact, he's going to lose four yards. I think Cameron Hayward's ability to take on blocks, hold the point of attack, and get upfield serves him very, very well. What a nice play there. Yeah, he can take on blocks because he's built like a block. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. To throw is Fitzpatrick. Open man, it's Preston Williams. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. As you and I know from visiting a lot of camps, no one practices this type of a start, do they? Not, especially not on the road. You give up the touchdown on the opening drive. Now there's likely a three and out on your first possession. Yeah, you throw that incompletion there. You hate to fall into a hole early, especially on the road. You gotta be careful. On fourth down, Matt Hawk is on to punt. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. 
And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice that it all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. Cutter on first down, working his way forward for about four yards. Second down coming up. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. They go draw play. This is Samuels. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And it would appear he's going to be short of a first down as he stopped right around the 29. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. On fourth down, here comes the Steeler punter Jordan Berry to kick it away. Back deep is Trevor Davis. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And it'll be Dolphin football. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Balage. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the shotgun, it's Fitzpatrick. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. And he comes back with one complete. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. 
<laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Play fake. It's Fitzpatrick. Caught by Wilson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. up quickly as he stopped for no gain second down and the starting defensive unit here for Pittsburgh Bud Dupree came out of the University of Kentucky determined to let everyone know that they play football there as well as basketball a terrific pass rusher off the edge So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now Fitzpatrick on the right side open is Gesicki. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. They'll run it now out of the gun. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers putting up their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. So on fourth down, Dolphin kicker Jason Sanders comes on. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. Sanders' kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. Ten-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal. And for the offense, ten-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. to the field goal. Here comes Sanders to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. Complete to Washington. A Steeler first down on a pickup of 11 yards. Let's go. 
Roethlisberger coming up with a first and ten. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got to jump here. Defense. So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation really doesn't matter. If you creep up to the line of scrimmage, you just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. That's thrown to Smith-Schuster out wide. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll make this a second down. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. They'll let this go. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. A costly penalty there. A lineman got downfield, and for the moment, that cost him six points. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. Good push up front in that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. And a short gain down to about the 33. Vince Beagle, the one to bring him down. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. That, like 20. Let's go, defense. Our time. It's our time. Like I said. On second and nine, Roethlisberger. Washington's got it. A gain there of 21 yards. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Roethlisberger now already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. On first and 10 is Connor. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. On second down, it's Connor. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Got his man, it's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Two first quarter touchdown passes now for Ben Roethlisberger. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Boswell for the extra point. And this 
one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. As well now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is taken at his four. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. And the ball is knocked out, and it's picked up by the Steelers. And some room to maneuver. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Now these guys hardly got a chance to catch their breath after the quick turnover, but I doubt they're complaining much. Especially with the field position they get to start with. I wouldn't be complaining either. I'd want to get right back out there and get after them because now you have an opportunity to make a big play. I'd say I'd let's be aggressive and go after him. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. They'll look to run with Connor, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. After one, a 14 to three ball game. Now from back at the five, this is third and goal. Now it's Roethlisberger. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. James Washington there to make the grab. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Extra point put through by Boswell. And the lead is up to 18 now. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with a Pittsburgh touchdown.
Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is taken at his four. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Here we go. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? The drive will commence with a run by Balazs. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll get this out in a hurry to Parker. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. The Dolphins on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets this away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. We focus our attention now on the quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger. He's enjoying a great deal of success. His team is also enjoying a great deal of success. Yeah, he's got that nice little, what I call the QB lean going right now. You see that little stroll that Some he's got swagger. going? Yeah, he's definitely got that. You see him throwing the football, the nice little video. He's seeing that in his head as well because he wants more of that to happen. So anytime you see him that relaxed, that comfortable, Usually it's a big thumbs up for his team. Yeah, it's been a big highlight day for him. They start with a give to Connor, and not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. On the tackle there, Zach Sealer out of Ferris State. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Black 80! On second and nine, Roethlisberger. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Roethlisberger coming up with a first and 10. And he's now 10 of 10, throwing the ball here to start the game. Now it's Roethlisberger. And yes, complete to the tight end, McDonald. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop. Finding the hole in the defense and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Hey. 
Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. To throw here, Roethlisberger. He's got the tight end, Benet. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Here's Roethlisberger. Open man, completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. Roethlisberger coming up with a first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. Xavier Howard up to make the tackle. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards of carry at the moment. Black 20. Here we go, D. Here I come. Here I come. Black, what's that? On second down, Samuels. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. He's brought down at the 42-yard line. A gain of one brings up third down and nine. The Steelers on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and nine. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. But it's brought in by Washington. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. It'll be a gain of 17 and a Pittsburgh first. Success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. On second down now, Samuels. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Steelers on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and five. Roethlisberger will throw. And he finds McDonald. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time nine yards and the sticks move again. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Here we go, here we go. Roethlisberger coming up with a first and 10, and he's hit on all six of his throws on this drive. Now Roethlisberger. And it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. 
This is Samuels. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Collectively great defense. It takes all 11, especially down here toward the goal line. The call comes in. And the call essentially says all 11 have to make a play here. You have to show toughness. We just saw it there. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. Now Roethlisberger to throw. That is caught. It's Juju for the Steeler touchdown. Big Ben with his fourth touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Extra point now by Boswell. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try to loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. Five yards is the tally on first down. That well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. I'm going to run you over. Second and five now. Fitzpatrick caught. It's Wilson. Seven yards there and a first down. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. This quarterback now hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. Eight of ten. It's first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And it's second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. To throw again, Fitzpatrick. And that's caught inside the 35. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. It's a gain of 34. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, Help is going to be a little bit late getting there, and he puts one out there for a big-time completion. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Balage. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. They blitzed there, but to be honest, I don't know if it would have mattered had they blitzed or not. That run play was going nowhere. Yeah, it's really, really difficult at times. 
games to figure out where that defense is coming from. But if you're committed to running the football, you can get people up on those linebackers, right? Those guards don't have to block anyone at the line of scrimmage. They can get up to the second level and create some space. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. To throw, Fitzpatrick. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 12-yard line. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six-foot, six-inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six-six target that they've got in him. They really do, and it, it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. First foray into the red zone for Miami. It's first and 10 from the 12. They'll run here with Balazs. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. A loss of two there, second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. A small bit of adversity here on what's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. From the gun, Fitzpatrick toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver, third down here. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. Throw in Fitzpatrick. Well, oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up. And that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. Sanders kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points, able to give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all, to me, that's a good drive. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. James Washington making his way back out towards the huddle. He's up over 100 yards, has the touchdown. He's, he's a big-time receiver in this league, so the question becomes, how do you limit him going forward? Well, you know the guys trying to cover him? They haven't had a whole lot of success thus far, and, and while they will still accept the challenge, maybe you have to change your focus. You have to get after the quarterback a little bit, disrupt his timing, because right now it feels like pitch and catch. Make sure he's not able to have clear sight lines to him, and maybe that'll slow him down. And this is not the guy you want to let play pitch and catch. Let's go, D. It's going to be a long day, offense. It's going to be a long day. What is that? Black and three. Gets it to Smith Schuster on the jet sweep. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I don't want to sound old or anything here, partner, but 
I remember the days in this situation where you just put the ball in the hands of a running back. Now, it could be anyone carrying the football to try and pick up a first down or a touchdown. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Samuels. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. From the 45 on second down, Roethlisberger. He finds his man, Johnson. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 42. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Roethlisberger got an open man it's Washington and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 a gain of 10 good for a Steeler first down so in the second quarter he's already up over 100 yards receiving now and isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver so he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game now a pass dumped off to his running back and this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time, and it's third down. I think it's pretty safe to say that when you're up three touchdowns, the last thing you want to do is hang one up there and put it in jeopardy and possibly get it intercepted. You get a nice lead, you should be able to protect it. But if you get careless with the football, look out. Now Ben on third and long. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So he splits the uprights, and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop.
the successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people, find some other playmakers, but always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. This quarterback now 11 of 16 through the air. It's first and 10. Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. To throw again on second down, Fitzpatrick. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Fitzpatrick again. They're able to locate Wilson. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. 
and I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Second and six, just inside the 30. Here's Fitzpatrick. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. First down, Dolphins. Wait, Ernie! Coming to you, coming to you. They run it with Balage. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. On second down and four, Fitzpatrick throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Fitzpatrick. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. From the shotgun, it's Fitzpatrick. He completes it to Wilson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. yardage and be backed up to the 25. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Carry over from the first half. That defensive line continues to control the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they're actually playing the game in the offense's backfield. They're taking those offensive linemen and pushing them back towards the quarterback and towards the runners. I still don't think, though, that you abandon the running game totally because if you do, you're asking for a lot more hits on your QB. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They'll keep it on the ground. Laird. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. From the gun, Fitzpatrick. High throw, but the catch is made. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Wait, 
98, 98 to Mike. There we go, here we go. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. And what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. To throw is Fitzpatrick. And this is caught. It's Parker. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Fitzpatrick now. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Stephon Tewitt able to shake free and get home for the sack. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. The kick by Sanders is good. And the Dolphins are going to be forced to settle for three. So his third field goal of the ballgame brings him a bit closer. But there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And sevens and probably even eights. You know, as a kicker, you just head out when you're called upon. So he's done his job. It's the rest of the offense that needs to get it in gear. They want to close this gap. to the field goal. Here comes Sanders to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Time for the Steelers offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. That! 232. Watch the run, watch the run. 52. Guys, it's game six. Lock it now Roethlisberger on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Roethlisberger. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And now offensively, it's third and 10, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. On third down, Roethlisberger. And he finds McDonald. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 34-yard line. 
You know, when I see passes like that, I'm reminded of something you and I talked about yesterday. Big Ben was a wide receiver the first three years of high school, sitting behind the coach's son, and then he finally got that opportunity. I think he's made the most of it. It's always the coach's son, isn't it? But you know where it helps him? When he looks downfield, he knows what the receivers are going to do. He actually has wide receiver's eyes when he's throwing the ball. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 34. They'll run with Samuels. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. Start! Blue 30. 55. I got one. I got one. On second and 11 now. Roethlisberger. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. And yes, complete to the tight end, McDonald. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush, a lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them. Roethlisberger. That is caught. It's Juju for the Steeler touchdown. How about Ben Roethlisberger, his fifth touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. And I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Boswell good with the extra point, and that'll push the lead up to 29 now. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it ends with a Pittsburgh touchdown. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is fielded at the goal line. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Looking to throw on second down. Fitzpatrick. It's Williams on the catch. 
The reception good for seven. It's third down. To number 18. A gain of seven yards. And it's third down. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. You can't block me. Operating from the gun, Fitzpatrick. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he's on to punt for Miami. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. Now the Steelers' offense gets ready to get back onto the field. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. They will get four yards here on the first down run. And it's second and six. And the tackle there will go to Charles Harris third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now a little more room here on second and six from the six ben leaves to counter on the draw and he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the nine yard line three yards is half of what they needed now can they get the other three here on third down brings up third and three Black 30. Exit, exit. We got double tight. Double tight. You got three. Three down, three down. Black and third. Roethlisberger now off the bootleg. Open man, it's for man. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. quarterback now over 300 yards now for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. On the carry it's Samuels. Try to find a lane but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the handoff, it's Samuels. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Ready? Blue 30. Defense wins championships, baby. Blue 30. On second down, Samuels. 
And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Seven yards there at a first down. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. On the draw, Connor. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Let's go, defense. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. From the 30 on second down, Roethlisberger. And that one not to be, it's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now in Pittsburgh. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. On third down, it's counter. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27, no first down. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. But this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. And Boswell's kick is good. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? the successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. <laughs> Throwing again, Fitzpatrick. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. What is he? Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Fitzpatrick on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 
Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Mike, 20! 55! Hey, eat, 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 eat! All day, all day, every day, any day! First down, Fitzpatrick. And this is Parker, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. First down throw for Fitzpatrick. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it second and short. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Yeah, a quick throw here, that's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. Now Fitzpatrick, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. T.J. Watt, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Watch 98, watch 98, 98 for Mike. To throw, Fitzpatrick. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Albert Wilson, the intended receiver there. But now it's third and goal. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They do get ten back, but still a ways to go on fourth. This defense continues to be good on third down. I mean, they haven't allowed a touchdown offensively. Are you saying, let's go for this? Let's try to get it in the end zone. I don't know about that because of what you just described. They've been so good, and they don't give up the big play that you would expect in downs one through three. Why should fourth down be yeah, any different? True. You might want to go ahead and kick the field goal and see if you can figure out something else as this game moves on. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. Juju Smith-Schuster and the rest of this offense heading back out there. Well, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now, 
they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him, bring him over to our team so we don't have to cover him anymore? Because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that a mid-game trade is going to happen, but good thought. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Let's pick it up. It's out of time, guys. Out of time. Let's get off the field. On third down. It's Connor, and he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Danny, 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 Danny. Black, it's third! Black, what's that? Now Ben going to give this one to Connor. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Here we go, here we go. Black 30. Right there in the middle, 55. Push him back. Push him back. Check. On Check. second down now. Check. It's Connor, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get him for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Mike, that! Black 20! Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, y'all. Let's make these babies cry. They'll run on first down. Connor. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. You ain't doing nothing today. You ain't doing nothing today. Again, it's Connor. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On third down. It's Connor, and he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They have the first down with that gain of four yards. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. 
So there on that play, offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to Talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. On second down, it's Connor. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. A one-yard gain brings up third and six. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Here we go. On third down, here's Samuels. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays. And they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. Here's Jordan Berry now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Super tall. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. Well, he's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. That's, that's a great analogy, a great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that nice gain, and things add up, and now you have the kind of game he's having. Call that a very strong gain of 24. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, Fitzpatrick caught. It's Wilson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. To throw again on second down, Fitzpatrick. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cam Hayward, always a force, got back there for the sack. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Yeah. 
So now after the sack, third and long, and Fitzpatrick and company, a little work to do. On third down, Fitzpatrick. And that is incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it Let's off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that. That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? And the Steelers set to take the field. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup? Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. Again, a run with Connor. And this will be a gain of right around three from the seven out to the 10-yard line. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Now it's Connor. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. Two yards on the pickup there. It's fourth down. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points. They're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Heinz Field.